people are gathering at one particular place. As long as the ones that are there believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. We can continue to serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with thanksgiving and know that the Lord, he is God. He made us and not we ourselves. We are his people, uh, Mother Johnson, and the sheep of his pastor. Enter into his courts with praise and to his house with thanksgiving. It says be thankful unto him and bless his holy name. Why? Because God is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth through all the generations. And I'm just dumb enough to believe everything that God said. I'm just dumb enough to believe all of the promises that God made in his holy and righteous and written word because I can look in his word even on this morning and, and I can get some confidence, Mother Johnson, because I remember some of the words that he has said to David in Psalms 37 and 5. I have been young and you can agree with that and, and now I'm old but yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging for bread. I just have to rely on God's promise. I don't, don't care what could condition the world is in, I'm going to just rely on God's word and his promises to Abel because I believe it says in the book of Psalms that I will be a very present help in a time of trouble and if there ever was a time of trouble, we're in that time right now, but don't worry this morning, don't worry about, about the trouble, don't worry about the virus, don't worry about anything because God said he's going to be a very present help. He's not talking about yesterday, but he's talking about right now in, in present tense. He's going to help you right now. And I thank God for that and I continue to stand on the word of God and just believe. Yeah. Yeah. And do not doubt. And he will surely oh, yes. bring you out. Yes, will. Amen. Yes. Amen. I, 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 I'm so appreciative mm -hmm. of to the Lord. Yes, I, I can say with the psalmist, I was glad. When they said unto me, let us go into the house of, of the Lord, our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Yes. He says, Jerusalem is a city that is compact together. Yes. Well, the tribes go up the tribes of the Lord to give testimony unto the name of the Lord. I, I just thank God for his word. Yes, Lord. Yes. Because I can always... Now, not sometimes, not, not just in a time time of disaster, not just in a time of uh, judgment, but, but I can always yes, Lord. find confidence in God's word. But because I, I'm one of his sheep. Yes. And I pray that all the believers yes. belong to God. You are, you are one of his sheep. Yes, Lord. And he says, the Lord is my shepherd. Yes. And because of that, I shall not want. Mm -hmm. And I just thank God for the confidence that, that we can find in his word. Is be careful for nothing but through prayer and supplications. Anybody got any requests? He said, let your requests be made known unto God. Yes. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Lord. Be, come on now, be confident by God's word. Be heavenly some, have to find yourself with hope yes. Yes. In, in the word of God. Don't lose hope. Amen. But no, that God is still in charge. Yes, he is. And I thank God that he's also a, a deliverer. Oh, yes, he and he speaks of that throughout mm -hmm. his holy and his righteous word. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. We're going to go ahead and, and then begin uh, with a little song. Uh, uh, Lord, whatever, I don't know about you, but whatever you're doing in this season, Lord, don't, don't do it without me. Amen. God, in the precious name of our Lord and, yes. and our Savior, Jesus yes. Christ. Master, we do come on this fifth day of April, Lord God, just to recognize that you are still God. And yes. Master, we do understand that it's you that have all power in heaven and earth in your hand. Yes. Master, we do realize, oh God, that that, that is you. You, you. You're the one that's omniscient, so you know everything that goes on down here. You know everything that we think because we know that you know. And we cannot do anything, Lord God, without you knowing about it. So, Lord, we have to come clean before you uh, this morning and ask, oh God, that you forgive us, Lord God, for our sins. Master, whatever we've done, Lord God, that's been uh, displeasing in your sight. We just pray, Lord God, that you would just have enough mercy since you're such a long-suffering God. Lord God, to just look down at the blood of your son, Jesus Christ, and, and just forgive us, Lord God, just because we believe 
in your son. And now, Master, we hear, Lord God, on this day, Master, to lift up, to magnify, and Lord God, to praise your holy, your righteous, and your divine word. We are here on this day, Lord God, that we might be fed from heaven, that we might get something on our plate that we might eat and we might digest, and something that we ate, something that we hear might cause us, after it take effect, to live better lives on tomorrow than we did on, on yesterday. And Master, I pray, Lord God, that you yourself would allow your Holy Spirit to come into this room, to come into this service, Lord, that we might praise you, that we might lift you up, that we might magnify you. Now, Lord, we pray, oh, Lord God, that you would send the preacher, Lord God, in the person of the Holy Spirit. Give us, Lord God, give us some, some hope to hold on to. We'll be careful to give you the praise, the glory, and all of the honor. For it's in the name of Jesus that we do pray. And for his sake, amen and amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I believe the songwriter said I'm just a nobody uh, trying to tell uh, everybody about somebody who can save anybody. And that's all we are here today to do is to tell somebody. Maybe someone out there that don't know uh, Jesus and the parts of their sins. We're here to tell somebody, Lord, that we don't tell you. Huh? about a man that's named Jesus. He, he's our deliverer. And just from our scripture today, I'm not going to take up too much of your time. From our scripture, we're going back to the Old Testament, to the book of Exodus. We're going to go to the book of Exodus, and I'm going to be reading uh, verses 22, basically through 28, uh, with our key verse being uh, verse 12 through 13. Amen. Amen. I'm going to just read that. You can basically remain seated if you would like to remain seated, or you can stand in the hearing of God's uh, holy word. Amen. From that 12th chapter of the book of Exodus, verses 12 and verse 13. Amen. Verse 12 and verse 13 of the book of Exodus, that second chapter. Everybody have it? Amen. If you don't, I'm going to give you just about two more seconds. Amen. Genesis, Exodus. Amen. That 12th chapter. It says in verse number 12, For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and will smite the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt. I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his precious, holy, and his divine word. Amen. The grass withered, the flower faded, but the word of our God shall last forever. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. 